Okay, so today I'm going to show you something called the hidden line trick. Um, and we are going to be using the volume tool for this. And the idea is to basically just fill in your sketch um, so you cannot see the sketch lines on either side of the shoe so it creates more of a flat look. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is as you can see the last already is filling in quite a bit of the shoe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that last to a white color. I'm gonna make sure it's on a flat material there. And then as you can see, that's filled in quite a bit of the shoe. So now I'm going to go to the volume tool to fill in the rest. So I'm gonna to go to the purple menu button in my non-drawing hand, which is my drawing and surfacing tools. I'm gonna select the volume tool and I'll just go ahead and give you a preview, but the volume tool is used to create quick organic volumes and we are going to use it to fill in the rest of our sketch here. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, change that color to white, make sure I'm on a flat material, and I'm just gonna start filling in the rest of my shoe here. And the idea is just to fill it in and not overlap with your sketch lines. And if you do, that's okay, because you can edit this geometry if you end up overlapping. So here you can see I've kind of overlapped with my sketch lines. So I'm just gonna move my lines, uh, my points out a little bit. I'm just gonna continue filling in. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to roughly fill in your sketch so you can't see those lines on the other side. Okay, so it does not need to be perfect, but as you can see, I have a kind of a nicely filled in sketch. And what I can do now is take screenshots of the sketch. So the way I do that is I'm gonna go to the blue uh, menu button on my non-drawing hand. I'm gonna select the save and export icon, and to the right, you're gonna see a take screenshot icon. So I'm gonna press on that, and you're gonna see a screen pop up so on the left, there's a sliding scale that's going to allow you to zoom in and out of your sketch. I'm gonna kind of zoom in a bit, a bit farther here. And then this icon will show you some settings. So if you turn on instant photo, it's going to save a copy of the screenshot in the room you're working in, which is great for this tutorial, but just know that um, any screenshot you take in the room will be saved to landing pad for web, so you can download it and import it into any program of your choice. And then if you uh, toggle on transparent background, it's going to clear the background and create more of a PNG, which is also great for importing into other programs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to start taking screenshots of different perspectives. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to point and click at the camera icon in the lower right hand corner. And voila, you can see it's created this really nice screenshot of a side view perspective. And because I've already sketched this all in 3D, all of my, oops, sorry about that. All of the perspective views have already been sketched instead of having to sketch them separately as you would in 2D. So this is why this is a great time saver. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these sketches and create somewhat of a, a sketch page really quickly for design review. So now I'll go ahead and take the back view. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Looks like I didn't fill that volume in the best there, but that'll be okay. So now to get out of my screenshot, I'm just gonna press the purple check mark button on my non-drawing hand. And I'm just gonna kind of arrange these, arrange these screenshots into a bit of a sketch page over here. Okay. 
the outside and the inside view. Top view. So yeah, there you go. That's a really fast, easy way to create a quick sketch page for design reviews. Now you can download these screenshots into Landing Pad for Web, which I'll show you later. And you can import them into Illustrator or Photoshop to shade them if you want to do that for your review. Or you can actually do some quick shading and gravity sketch as well. And I will show you how to do that now. So what I want to do is first, I think I want to create another layer for this. I'm going to just call it surface or render. And um, I'm going to turn it to a slight opacity. And then I'm going to go to the um, purple menu button, my drawing and surfacing tools, and I'm going to go to the stroke tool and open the menu. And as you can see um, on the menu, on the bottom, there are a lot of different options for the shape for your ribbon stroke. So I'm just gonna change my color. So as you can see, oops, I'm on the wrong layer already. Oh no, this is right. Uh, the classic round shape is just what you, you would use to sketch. But then there is a flat ribbon stroke option, which is just a more of a flat stroke. So I can use this now to come in and shade my drawing here and give it a nice markery hand done look. So I'm just gonna start drawing freely and I can manipulate this line to fit my sketch line here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go through to create some quick shading so you know how to use this method as well. Okay, so this is how I might go about adding some color and shading in Gravity Sketch. And as you can see, if you turn your layer to a slight transparency, it gives a really nice hand sketched markery look. And so what I wanna do now is go back to my menu bar, save and export and take another screenshot. And then you can go about taking different perspective shots of your shaded sketch as well. There you go. So you have two options that you can pursue within Gravity Sketch. And now I'm going to show you how you can access your screenshots and download them in Landing Pad for Web. Once you've taken your screenshots, you can navigate to the Landing Pad, um, your Landing Pad account dashboard. And you do want to go to your personal files, which is the first thing that will pop up. And you can double check on the left here. 
And if you scroll down, you can see that your screenshots are already showing up here. This is where they will automatically be saved. So if you click on one, you're gonna see a toolbar appear at the bottom. You can actually view your screenshots in landing pad by clicking on the view button. You can choose to download them with the toolbar to the left here. Or if you go back and you click on your screenshot, you can also download it with the toolbar that appears at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and download um, a sketch here. I'll just pull it to my desktop and I'm gonna open this in Photoshop because this would be another option to continue to add shading. So there you go, that's the hidden line trick and a few ways you can also continue to add color and shading for a quick design review.